Hey, it's Shree here, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk you through how you can use the law of attraction to be able to save your marriage that's on the verge of a divorce. Now, before we dive in, I just wanna let you know that if you are on the verge of a divorce and your marriage is in a really, really bad place and your family's being impacted and so on, I know how tough it is, I really do, and I talk to women every single day who are going through really difficult times, and so my heart goes out to you, but I also want you to know you're not alone and that I am here to help you if you're needing the guidance and the support as well. And so if you are wanting to learn a little bit more about how I can do that and you know, you're needing to speak to someone who is a professional, knows what they're doing when it comes to be able to get the results that you're looking for, then I'd love to be of service to you as well. And so if you are in a position where you're needing some support and some guidance and you wanna to speak to me personally, then all you need to do is in the description section below, just click on that link which just says book a call with me. Just click on that link, choose the time that works for you, and then I'll contact you at the scheduled time. Just see how I can help you on this journey of yours. And if I can, then I'll let you know a little bit more about that. If I can't, then I'll make sure I give you a couple of pointers and tips and tricks to make sure you're moving forward on your path. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on that bell notification as well. So every week you get access to my latest videos teaching you about how you can save your marriage, how you can learn more about male psychology as well, and really heal from infidelity because you know, marriage is a really difficult place when infidelity is involved and it's really important to do the healing on the inside. Now, the law of attraction has been around for donkey's years, but it really was brought into kind of mainstream culture, if you like, through the book The Secret that came out around 2006-07. And what it basically works out is that everything that we attract into our lives are due to the thoughts and the images that we create in our own mind. And that if that's the case, then we have the ability to be able to draw in things into our lives and ultimately attract whatever it is that we want to in our lives. Now, my issue with a lot of that is that people just think that, you know what, I can just visualize myself having a Ferrari or, you know, a beautiful house or whatever, and suddenly that's just going to turn up on my doorstep and everything's going to be fine. Doesn't quite work like that. And to be perfectly honest, it kind of frustrates me when I hear a lot of this stuff because... You know, it's not as simple as just visualizing a few things and then hoping that they end up happening. Because if that was the case, we'd all be millionaires, we'd all have fancy cars and nice houses and, you know, all those wonderful things. Doesn't quite happen like that. Now, having said that, I do believe in the law of attraction. I just think that there's some important factors involved when it comes to being able to manifest those things into your life. And so because I'm primarily focused on helping women in their marriages, what I wanted to talk a little bit about is how you can actually use the law of attraction to be able to save your marriage, to be able to get the marriage that you truly want with your husband, but using the right strategies and techniques to allow the law of attraction to work best for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain to you three steps right now that you need to take if you want to use the law of attraction to be able to save your marriage. Now, the first step that you need to take when you're going through and applying the law of attraction is that you have to heal at the deeper level and you have to, in particular, heal at the emotional level. A lot of people just want to think positive thoughts and only focus on, you know, I'm going to have a wonderful marriage, I'm positive, I'm happy, I'm joyful, and using a whole series of positive affirmations to try and shift their emotional state. And then by doing that, then that's going to maximize their chances of saving their marriage. The issue with this is that if you just are focusing only on, you know, I am successful and I am wonderful and using all these affirmations, you're neglecting that deep, those deeper wounds inside. You're literally stuffing those emotions down. And you really want to think of it like an iceberg. You know, you've got your tip and the tip of that iceberg is, you know, the positive thoughts and so on. But then at the deeper level underneath the, the water, you've got this massive range of emotional scars and wounds underneath it that are really the governing force in your life. So you can say whatever you want, and this is what happened to me a lot. I would be thinking all these positive thoughts, I'd be visualizing all these wonderful images in my mind, but I never got those things that I wanted. And why? Because I hadn't done a lot of the emotional healing on the inside. I had to confront my deepest emotions. I had to confront the wounds, the challenges that I had to deal with when I was younger, the challenges that I had to face on a regular basis in my life. And if I didn't heal those, I was just going to continue to chase things and it wasn't actually going to get me the results that I wanted. And I used to always wonder, like, why is it this stuff never works for me? 
It's because I didn't do any of this deeper work inside. And once I start to do that, once I start to really face up to those things, once I start to think those positive thoughts, the emotions that I was feeling and the thoughts that I was thinking, they were completely congruent. They were in alignment. And I really start to feel positive. I used to feel successful. I used to feel more joyful and happy. And sure enough, when I had those in alignment, things would come my way. But if I was feeling this uncomfortable feeling inside and those wounds were still there, but I kept thinking positive, 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 I'm literally suppressing those emotions and I'm only focusing on one thing. And one thing happens when we suppress our emotions, they eventually follow us around as well. So we must make sure that we heal at an emotional level first. Secondly, once you've actually done a lot of the healing work inside, you have to feel as if you've actually got it right now. You have to feel as if the thing that you want right now, you have it already. So if you're thinking about your marriage and you're wanting to create this extraordinary marriage, you have to feel as if you've got it right now. Now that doesn't mean that you just loosely pretend like it's all wonderful around your husband and that everything's perfect. You obviously have to be real about what's happening. But in your own time, I want you to feel as if you've got that wonderful marriage in your life right now. Feel as if you actually have it. You know, take that time every day, even if it's just for a few minutes a day, visualizing what you want, but feeling as if you have it right now. Don't think of it as when I get that thing or when I get that wonderful marriage, because then you're always going to be projecting into the future. You want to feel as if you've got it right now because the universe responds to what you have and gives you more of that rather than the things that you want. So you have to make sure that you're focusing on it because otherwise you're always in a state of wanting and you keep attracting more circumstances of wanting rather than actually feeling as if you have it right now. And then thirdly, what you want to be doing is raising your vibration. You see, the law of attraction works on the basis that we're all made up of energy. And so if we're putting out really good energy, then we're going to get really good energy back. And in particular, like attracts like. Now, that means that if we're putting out really bad energy, we're going to attract bad energy as well. We want to raise our vibration. You see, if we're all made up of energy, we want to lift that vibration of that energy so that we're attracting the beautiful things that we want. And in short, if we're operating in a place of shame and guilt and anger, those are lower vibrations. If we're operating from places of love and peace and joy and happiness, those are higher vibrations. So if we spend more time in love, in joy, in happiness, we're going to attract more of that good stuff into our life. We're going to attract more of those beautiful things. So if you're focusing on the love for your husband, if you're focusing on the marriage that you want to have, and not only that, but you're spending time with people that you know are lifting your vibration up, that you're doing the things that bring you joy and happiness, you're literally raising your vibration as well. Now, I'm not going to suggest that just these three things are the only things that can be applied, but I believe that they're the key principles involved in attracting wonderful things into your life, and in particular, maximizing your chances of saving your marriage. And I know in my own life, whenever it comes to attracting things, I make sure I use these fundamental principles that I'm teaching you today. And they really do help to be able to maximize your chances of getting those things that you truly want. Now, an additional point I want to raise is you have to give up your attachment to that thing. In other words, we have to say, if I get it, wonderful. If I don't, that's okay and I'm going to be okay as well. Because otherwise you're going, I've got to have this thing. I've got to have this thing. I must have it now. And then you're coming from fear. And I don't want you to come from fear. I want you to come from faith. And if you know you're going to be okay no matter what, you're going to be absolutely fine. Now, I know that going through a challenging time in your marriage is really difficult. I know putting the law of attraction into practice can be really challenging as well. And I know you might be thinking, well, how the hell do I do my emotional healing by myself? I, I'm not even sure what steps to take. Well, if you are feeling like that, then you know I want you to know that you're not alone. I'm here to support you as well on your journey. So if you are needing some guidance and some support and some direction on your path, then all you need to do is in the description section below, just click on that link which says book a call with me. Just click on that link, choose a time that works for you, and then I'll contact you at a scheduled time just so I can learn a little bit more about where you're at and see if my program, The Authentic Relationship System, can be a good fit for you. If you're not ready to jump on a call, that's totally okay. All you need to do is in the description section again, there's a link to register for my free masterclass training. Just click on that link where it says register for the masterclass. Choose a time that works for you. And then just show up at that time and just watch 
the material and you can learn specifically how my client Sarah was able to save her marriage in less than 60 days using these three really important steps. You'll really enjoy it, you'll really value the material. Make sure you stick around to the end where I give away a free gift as well that I know you'll really enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked it, make sure you hit the like button below. If you want to get more videos like that, hit the subscribe button. And please let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this video as well. I always love getting some of the feedback and hear some of the questions and comments as well. So make sure you let me know below and I'll make sure to respond to every single one of you. And if you want to know what to do if your husband has left you for another woman, just click this video above. If you want to know what to do if your husband's sending you mixed messages, click this video above. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you in the next video.